What's up? It's your girl Liv and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys while I drive. I'm on my way to school right now. I know, you guys are gonna be in the comments. Olivia, put your seatbelt on. Okay, you guys, okay. I wanted to come and I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. Um, and just be like real with y'all, just be super honest and you know what I mean? It doesn't really matter. At this point, I'm just gonna be real about stuff, be honest and not care about the judgment that comes with it. I heard something, I was watching some of these podcasts and they said that honest, true healing is really healing out loud without caring about people's judgments. <sighs> So I'm like, you know what, that's probably true because how can you really heal if you're not really being 100% real with, I mean, not like your healing is, um, is really needs to be judged. Like other people don't need to judge your healing and what you go through, but in a sense, I'm being real with myself, 100%. I'm being, I have to be real with myself, y'all. Okay? Like, I have to be real with myself about everything because I'm the one going through it. And it's like, I can't live in denial. Like, I have to be real with myself. So, I've, I've been being real with myself. But maybe I haven't always been 100% when it comes to exactly how I'm feeling about certain things. Because I... Of course, I'm judged. I'm judged. People blow things out of proportion. People make fun of me. Blah, 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 blah. But it really doesn't matter, and I really don't care. It is what it is. Um, but anyway, I was like, this is one of the topics that I didn't want to talk on anymore because people don't know how to act, and people are very disrespectful, and they have completely lost touch with their humanity. And... Um, and yeah, so I don't talk about this topic anymore, but I will discuss this because it's heavy on my heart and um, and yeah. Basically, yesterday I was so depressed I couldn't, I couldn't get out of bed. Like, it's not very often that I'm that depressed. Um, I'm usually, you know, I can usually pull myself out of it and be like, okay, chop, chop, let's go, snap out of it, we got shit to do, and I usually get on with my day. But every so often I have a day like yesterday where I can't get out of bed, I can't, I can't even really talk to anybody because my stomach hurts. I feel like when I speak, I'm going to throw up. That's how serious it is. And I feel like crying right now because it's fucking deep, bro. Um, but days like yesterday, <sighs> remind me of how strong I am, because the fact that I even get out of bed any day of the week, the fact that I do what I do any day of the week is amazing to me, with everything that I'm going through, everything that's, everything that I'm going through, okay? But yesterday, I just could not shake it, you guys. I tried and I tried and I was like, really? On top of me, on top of me being depressed, I was also like upset at myself because, you know, I had shit to do yesterday. I had to work. I had, I had shit to do, but so I was like being hard on myself and I was like, come on, Olivia, like you have so much work to do. And then I didn't study. I didn't do homework. I didn't do shit. When I say I didn't do shit, I didn't do shit. I ate some food thinking that shit was gonna make me feel better that shit didn't make me feel better that shit made me feel more sick anyway I've been going through the most craziest things when it comes to my kids um I don't even know how I want to like address this because the narrative on social media is so wrong. It's so wrong and I'm just waiting. I'm waiting until the moment comes where God corrects everything. I'm just waiting because it's gonna happen eventually. The tables will turn 
God will correct everything. But I'm just waiting because it's to this point where people have talked so bad on my name, slandered me so bad to the point where people don't people don't give a shit. People don't believe me, people don't this, people don't that, and that's cool. That's okay. I'm still gonna speak and I'm still gonna tell my story and say what I'm going through and whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's just making me cold, y'all. <sighs> Basically, I didn't call my kids last night. Last night was the night I called them. I didn't call them. And I didn't call them because for the last few nights that I've been speaking to them, honestly, not even for the last few nights, since they've been back over there, I have I don't really get a good good calm cycle with them. Like I can't really sit down and speak to my children. My children are always uh you know, there's always like a group of people surrounding them. I'm on speakerphone, people are screaming and in the background listening to my conversation. Um, my son is over here, my daughter's over here, they're not in the same room, so I can speak to all of them, um, I'm getting hung up on, it's just like on and 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 on. So, okay, I was dealing with that, like I was dealing with it, I wasn't being disrespectful, look, I don't have to come at my kid's father with any more disrespect because I'm past the point of being bitter even though I don't really think I was ever bitter but I'm past the point of feeling some type of way about him because I don't feel that way any longer I no longer feel any type of feelings towards him I'm over that part of my life okay despite what people want to believe despite what people want to say I'm over that okay all right I just want to be a mother to my kids. I want to be respected as such because I, that's what I am, period. Nobody can change that. Nobody will change that unless you kill me. If you, if, if that's not going to happen, I'm a mother to my kids, period. You understand? Like, that's what it is, period. I don't give a shit about nothing else. Nothing else. But I'm not able to even have a... I can't even communicate to them on a real level. It's very frustrating, as you guys can imagine. It's very upsetting. So what I was saying earlier was I did not call them last night because on Friday when I spoke to them, I was hung up on in the middle of our conversation. And the thing that pisses me off the most about all of this, okay, is just how traumatic... just how traumatic all of this is going to be for my kids in the end. I don't think people understand. I don't think they can even fathom what they're doing at this point. They're just doing whatever they want to do. And they think that this shit's okay. Because social media backs it. You feel me? Social media... Um, Y'all all think this shit is funny. This shit's not fucking funny. And, you know, I know the the, the role that I played um, in potential, potentially hurting my kids and traumatizing them as far as this whole divorce separation goes. And since I see that, I don't want to do that anymore. And, and never, never was it in the form of not letting their dad be a part of their life. <laughs> never. Never, never, never. I don't care what y'all try to say, what he tries to say, the picture that they try to paint of me. I never was that woman. Never. Okay, you almost made me feel like a damn fool because of what's been, what's been, what is being done to me publicly and privately. I feel like a damn fool because I'm over here crying over the man, wanting him to be a part of his kid's life, calling him on the phone, chasing him down. I, I was doing everything up under the sun so he would have a relationship with his kids. 
So I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I'm done with that narrative. Y'all could keep that shit. He could keep that shit. Because that's never been been the shit over here. Never. But that is completely and 100% being done to me at this moment. And um, it's been happening. So, <laughs> back to what I was saying. <clears throat> I didn't call yesterday because I didn't want to number one put them through that pain because I see the pain in their eyes I feel the pain I, I hear the pain and I don't want to put them through that who knows if I'm gonna get hung up on who knows if I'm gonna even be able to talk to them you know all of our conversations are monitored it's very very sick what's happening and everything that was said that I was doing is being done to me it's so sick. It's so sick. And I know, and I know who I am, and I know what I've done, and I know what I haven't done. And I'm going to stick to that shit. I'm going to stick to that shit. The fuck? People are not going to make me feel like I did something I didn't fucking do. That's been done to me for years. That's why I got out that relationship, because that shit was done to me in that relationship. Was that gaslighting? Is that what that's called? Like, where where the person just, like, you know shit happened this way, but they're trying to tell you, no, it didn't. It happened this way. It happened this way. You're crazy. No, it happened this way. No one is going to tell me that I kept my children from that man. When my dumb ass went to Texas so he could be a part of his kid's life. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's why I don't even get into this. Because it's like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> So now, it's really, honestly, truly, in real life, being done to me. <sighs> so I didn't call yesterday. So on top of me being so utterly depressed, couldn't get out of bed, just sick to my stomach, I didn't even talk to them. And like I said, I didn't, I didn't talk to them because I didn't want to put them through through mommy getting hung up on or getting the phone taken away from them. That shit is fucking traumatizing, bro. That shit is traumatizing. So, it's all a game. This whole thing is like a game that these people are playing with me and I'm not gonna play this game anymore. I played it for long enough thinking that, you know, I could do this for the meantime because because I have to, number one, and number two, because I thought that people would be um, adults enough to just be a parent and just co-parent with me respectfully. I'm gonna keep using that word respectfully because I will be respected, period. I will be respected. I will demand my respect and I will be respected. I don't care who doesn't like me. I don't care if the internet don't like me. I don't give a shit. Those are my children. I am their mother. I don't care what the internet says. I don't care what he says. I don't care what she says. I don't care what they say. I don't care what nobody says. When my kids look at me, when they see me, they just want their mommy, period. They don't give a fuck about what people on the internet think about me or what he says about me or what they say about me or what the cousin says about me or what the aunties, they don't give a shit about none of that. I'm their mother, period, point blank. So, like I said, I thought that people could be respectful, right? And co-parent with me. People aren't doing that. So it's fine. I got to do what I have to do to correct this situation. Along with the shit that I'm doing behind the scenes, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to do that regardless. But I need to do what I need to do. Because I'm not going to live like this any longer. I'm not going to make them live like this any longer. When I say them, I mean my children. Um... Yeah, we're not doing this anymore. I, I, I don't know why I keep having some type of faith in this person to do the right thing. <laughs> I don't know why, because every single time, the right thing is never done. It just gets worse and worse and worse at this point. And um, 
it's fine i'll take it upon myself and i'll handle certain situations the way that they need to be handled and that's just all it will be that's it and that's all you understand um it's crazy everything i'm going through it's just so crazy and I will continue to speak on this unapologetically and do, and you know, whenever I feel like it, whenever I feel like I need to speak on this, I will speak on this. <sighs> I hate that I even have to speak about this person. People really think that I like to talk about this person. And this is not even about this other person. This is about my, my parenting, my mother, my motherhood being taken away from me. Zero respect, lack of respect for the woman who birthed their kids. Just no respect at all. And I don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me on this stupid ass platform. Y'all know how I feel. Y'all have probably been there. Maybe not exactly where I am. But you have been disrespected as the mother of your child, as the mother of your children. You've been disrespected, but you think this shit is cool. This shit is sweet. This shit ain't sweet. <laughs> this shit's never been sweet, bro. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's cool, but I'm not gonna keep dealing with this. But I just wanted to say that because yesterday was a fucking hard day. It's just been so hard. But like I said, everything will get better. Everything does get better. Who told me that? Everything gets better. And everything will get better. Understand that. Understand that. This whole fucking games condition that's being played right now, this shit will flip. This shit will flip and I will be more transparent with y'all and tell y'all like certain things as time goes on you know and I get closer to certain situations oh that bird keeps stealing that other bird's food this lady's feeding the birds right here anyway I gotta go I love y'all I've been I've been on here for 18 minutes I gotta go y'all thank you guys for listening to me um shout out to my babies i love them so much mommy just never stops never stops thinking about them my heart my, my mind is just constantly on my kids all the time and i try not to i try not to think so much and be stressed out and shit because i know eventually this shit is going to turn around i know that but still, even though, and I keep telling myself, and I keep getting signs from God and everything, like telling me, Olivia, stop stressing. You're stressing for no reason, sis, because this shit's gonna get handled eventually. It's still just a worry on my heart every single minute of the day, every single hour. <sighs> but to inflict this kind of pain onto somebody is okay. I promise you, God has something for you. And I'm not praying upon it. I'm not asking God for this. It's just it is what it is. It is what it fucking is, bro. But I'm done talking about this. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next 